I think we can all relate to the fact that as an adult, it is really difficult to make friends outside of your immediate circle. So in your workplace or friends of friends or extended family, it can be difficult to network yourself, especially if you're looking for something a little more intimate. And for my ladies watching right now, this video can help give you some ideas on where you can meet perhaps a more high quality man, high value man, interested in a little bit more, I guess, old world class. Because very rarely somebody's going to just knock on your door one day and tell you, I'm ready to sweep you away. It's not really gonna happen. I really wanted to make a video where I just list off a few ways you can meet people that won't be going to bars or pubs or, you know, just more, I suppose we're seeking more like-minded individuals who are maybe more interested in an elegant lifestyle. I'm not the all-knowing guru on the subject, however, I have a bit of experience myself and also I've spoken to some of my friends and people that I know in my circles that um, have been really successful at meeting new people, even meeting romantic relationship partner, right? So a more, I guess, high value, I know that sounds harsh, but a more high value or you know what I mean, individual um, based on their interests. But I'd like to first welcome you to Maison de Chatillon. My name is Michaela and let's begin with number one. I would say if you were to join a golf club, a country club, to join that, like actually have a membership there or at least go to lounges there, but I would say having a membership is a better idea because you will frequent, you will frequent, right? And if you're just there once, the likelihood of striking up some chemistry with one person or a few people is less likely to happen. So just know really quick before I get into this, like you're going to have to put yourself out there. If you are interested in making a friendship with a man, and hopefully that can develop into a relationship if he's the right person. You do need to put yourself out there and you need to learn to do it in an authentic way. So just take it lightly when you meet these new people. I know it can be difficult. You don't want to always just storm up to somebody aggressively and stick your hand out and say, this is me, please like me. Like, no, there's a classier ways to go about it. But I think honestly, a man will have the confidence to perhaps be the first one to make a move speaking to you if you are there more often, you know? So I do think investing a tiny bit of money and getting a membership at like a country club. Um, I'm trying to think of some other places like clubs you can join, but look up online different clubs in your area, um, which actually brings me to my next point, which is classes, you know? I don't mean like Zoom classes, I mean like in-person, where you'll be around people on subjects that you're interested in. Maybe take a French lesson in person. Maybe um, there'll be a college somewhere that offers just a class for that or Russian or a different language. Maybe you could meet somebody a little more like-minded there. Um, that's possible. Or, or for instance, there is an adorable little, I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's like a wine club, I guess. It's called Blanc and Rouge. You can purchase wine there. It's in Snohomish. This is just an example. Obviously not everybody can get there, but they have so many different like Friday night meetups where they talk about Austrian wines, French wines, things like that. And even if you're not big on drinking, maybe just, you know, if you're doing samples, you don't have to get intoxicated. Just take a little sip and enjoy and learn. But this is a great way to meet new people. And I'm sure in different cities and areas in different states, they have places like that. So look up like a wine lounge. But yeah, look that up and look at their classes online, which takes me to my next point. Honestly, I'm going to show you on my screen. I just typed in Seattle events, okay? Now listen, you're gonna get a lot of really gross things because it's Seattle, but you're going to have to use your wisdom and discretion to kind of scroll through and see which type of events might have more like-minded people with you, right? So I'm not gonna go on some like feminist march event happening, you know, that's not gonna happen for me or a knitting class. Likely that'll be just surrounded by women, if, if I want to have a certain type of company, I'm going to be selective. So, 
you know, you'll see that there's different wine events. Um, there's maybe some plays and like interesting like operas and opening nights for symphonies and things like that. And through signing up and going to these things, you're going to meet people that have similar interests. It's very simple. And your likelihood of meeting, maybe it's a friend, like a female or a man that could turn into more than a friend, your opportunities are going to multiply if you go to these things. If you're just going to work every day, what do you think is going to happen? Like, unless you're crushing on your boss. Tastes like the 4th of July. <laughs> you know, probably somebody's not going to magically get hired there. That's going to be like the love of your life. Prince Charming, it's very rare. It can happen, it definitely can. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit more rare. So I would say branch out from there. And also like at work is a good place to be professional. That's more elegant in my opinion and sophisticated. And you know what? It's not even my opinion. It's just true. Keeping it classy, less personal with your coworkers. I'm not saying you cannot develop friendships, but remember like you don't need to tell them about all the bad things you did when you were a teenager or your toxic ex-boyfriend and things like that. Like let's keep it a little more professional. Um, anyway, say tangent is over, but yes, go to these events, sign up. Some of them do cost money. That's okay. $15. Okay, whatever. Save up for it. Go ahead and cancel your HBO Max subscription or something that you don't need and like, you know, replace it and do something monthly or bi-weekly. And I just think this would be such a good way to meet people, really. Another way is there are volunteer signups in different cities okay so look up your city there are galas there are silent auctions regular auctions and this is actually a really good way that i networked with some brilliant ladies um who ends up being you know long-term mentors or friends really in my life um at these events where i was simply volunteering the reason that i volunteered is because i didn't have any money at the time and volunteering you get to go to the event and attend of course you do work so keep in mind you're going to be assigned some tasks but if you're selective on what it is you're volunteering for like at a silent auction when you're signing people in yes you're not going to be you know the star of the show or anything but you are going to literally get to look at every single person that enters including the men including um different female groups and people and it's a good way to make an impression you know smile a little bit more but oh yeah i started talking about being authentic just don't play out the stereotypical way that you think is what you should act like when you're trying to be confident sometimes that works for people because they are more extroverted and so it just flows nicely but if you are really shy and introverted just like suddenly forcing yourself to be this burst of energy, it's not really going to work well. It's not going to feel natural and it's gonna actually push people away. You do need to be a little bit more outspoken. You do need to introduce yourself, but you can keep your personality at the same time. In fact, your personality is what is going to help you network. You know, it's not just about like what you have to offer. It's your personality. Like they want you around. You can keep your, your personality if you're more introverted. I definitely am. So I approach people calmly and I look them in the eyes. For instance, like I will not speak unless they're actually like making eye contact with me. Like if they look away, I'll stop. So they have to look back. And it seems very natural because I never break my face. Like I'm very calm about it. There's definitely an art to being confident but it's so different for each person right yes yeah, so volunteering at events and if you want to go to these auctions like you want to go to these gala events for instance like different like disease associations like the heart association they'll have these very elegant events where they'll like rent they'll book like half of like a really nice hotel i've been to a couple wearing gowns it's really fun um but it does cost money so you know a little bit of change like a good 100 to 300 even per ticket so but it includes a lot and it's a good experience and think about how much money you could be wasting like going spending it on drinks at a bar like and that's gonna get you nowhere that's not gonna get you literally anywhere except for um more overweight and unhealthy with your organs failing and also like it does not attract good men. It just simply doesn't. 
And my last recommendation is to join a church. Now, I know if you're going to a tiny little Baptist church in the middle of nowhere, everybody's coupled up. Everyone has a husband or wife, so there's that. But you could meet great women even at that little church, right? To make friendships with. And I think church is a good way to make friendships with people because people are already like in a more vulnerable state. So they're ready to be more open with you. And you don't have to do as much of a fake, not fake, but like introduction dance that you have to do with people at like an event or you know it's just it's a little warmer um also there's like bigger churches like i'm not a big fan of like mega churches or really big churches however your options for friends and groups of people who go out and do things and talk to each other and they're like wholesome or i guess like good influences you know because that's important you don't think you are going to be easily influenced by your people but you are it's amazing how quickly your heart can change overnight when you're with the wrong people anyway i hope this video was helpful uh thank you so much for watching and being so patient with me you know how i am i'm so excited to have this new filming location and i honestly think that it is such a good change i hope the sound is okay in here this room is a bit echoey we shall see. I'm excited to be working on this background and create something that suits me well. I really do enjoy being creative, but yes, thank you again for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel if you would like to. I'm not gonna force you, but you really should. Just click that subscribe button right now. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. I have moved the filming location. My husband has finally released me from his closet um, to film videos in. So yeah, now I have rights to roam about the house.